Hi everyone, welcome back to Rihanna's Kitchen Corner. Today I am going to show you how to make Kachapuri. Kachapuri is a traditional Georgian dish of cheese filled bread and this recipe is a combination of fluffy homemade bread and different types of cheese and a runny egg in the center. It's uh, so cheesy and delicious. Let's see how we are going to make this. This dish uh, you can serve it as an appetizer or um, breakfast um, and uh, this usually comes with uh, different types of uh, cheese uh, in the middle and um, a crust which is ripped off and used to dip in the cheese. Uh, the filling contains uh, um, cheese eggs and uh, here I used um, um, frozen spinach as well. Let's see how we are making. Heat the milk, here I used 1 cup and 3 tablespoons of unsalted butter in a so small uh, saucepan or you can do this in the microwave uh, as well until uh, the butter melts. Now you can turn off the heat and let it uh, rest for a few minutes until the uh, milk comes to look warm. Add half tablespoons dry yeast, one teaspoon sugar, give it a mix. Add one teaspoon salt, three cups of all purpose flour, stir it well until everything combined together add one tablespoon olive oil and mix it again and then after that you can uh, um, knead it in the stand mixer if you have otherwise uh, you can do this when, with your hand for about 5 to 8 minutes until you get a soft and a smooth uh, dough. Our dough looks uh, smooth and elastic and just a little bit of oil uh, in the side of the bowl and place a covering and let it sit for uh, at least 1 to 2 hours in the warm place. For the filling, uh, we need a um, shredded mozzarella cheese, um, 2 cups and uh, here I am using 1 cup of ricotta cheese, feta cheese I am using uh, 4 ounces and uh, here I am going to add uh, 10 ounces of uh, uh, frozen spinach skews and I am adding half teaspoon of uh, black pepper powder, mix everything together uh, until it's combined well. Okay, now it's the time to check the our dough. The dough looks fine. Uh, just um, punch a few times. Then you can transfer the dough uh, to a working surface and uh, sprinkle some extra flour. You can divide the dough into four equal portions. Let's work on uh, one portion. Uh, first, press it with your hand, and then after that, you can roll it with a rolling pin. Uh, we need to make a boat shape. Uh, this um, so what? What I'm going to do is I'm going to make something like an oval shape. So that will be easier for me to make that uh, oval size. Uh, so once uh, after rolling, um, you can uh, start filling the cheese inside. Now you can uh, put the cheese filling in the center and after that you can uh, start rolling uh, the two opposite sides of the um, uh, shape uh, toward the center so it will end up to have a boat shape. 
then you can pinch the corners together Now you can transfer the kachapuri onto a baking sheet lined with parchment paper. Uh, let it uh, sit for at least 30 minutes. Cover and set. Okay. For the egg wash, we need one egg, one teaspoon water. Beat it well. So after 30 minutes, you can just before baking, you can do the egg wash uh, on the side. Bake it in the preheated oven 375 degree Fahrenheit for 15 to 20 minutes. Remove from the oven and then make it well in the center of each kachapuri with the back of the spoon. Then crack an egg uh, into each well. And you can uh, put a small stick of butter which is one teaspoon on, to, on top of the cheese. Then bake it for another 10 to 12 minutes or until the egg is set. Okay, the, uh, it's done cooking. Uh, the egg white should be white but still pretty runny. It will cook further as it sits in the hot um, cheese. When serving, mix the cheese and the egg with a fork and serve immediately. Uh, thanks for watching everyone. Hope you like this video. I'll see you soon back with another yummy delicious recipe. Bye. Take care.